Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail playthrough session. We are the Trash Blazer continuing our journey on, going through this adventure, figuring out what the hell is going on with this place. We're wanted criminals. Apparently, we killed one of the room service people in the goth hotel, and I was like, oh my god, we're gonna get arrested, but then it turns out we were wanted for a crime we didn't commit, and we're on the run, and Sampo showed up, and this man's like kind of Sasuke. I don't really know if I should trust him or not. Kakolia is doing some freaky sus stuff with the Stellaron and we're tapping into the memories of the past regarding their interactions and how things may have happened with the underworld with the overworld and how they're kind of this kind of like this schism this divide between them we just got saved from the situation with Bronya and the silver main knight and now we're kind of catching up with everybody March 7th is hanging out with the kids over there hook is a part of the gang hook is a part of the underworld which is great Natasha is part of the underworld Sampo is part of the underworld part Partially, and so I felt like it was appropriate to switch up my team a little bit. We do have access to Ascension for a bunch of my characters, actually. So Natasha is the only character that I bumped to 30 along with Don Hung, but I swapped him out just so I can have my heals on point just because I don't want to be in any situation where I die. So I'm going to probably be working on all of these character Ascensions just so I can kind of work towards getting some of these free pulls. I'm going to try my best to kind of make it through. I'm going to do a quick scouring, just explore the area for the first time, and I'm going to try to make it through up until the point where I can get my daily commissions unlocked as well as the battle pass so I can start getting some of these daily rewards including the trailblazer stuff so first off there's the chest right around the corner here I'm just gonna look around really quick we just hit trailblazer 15 as well they did show off this building right here and I think this building is it's like a boxing like fight club building this is gonna be a part of one of the combat events that are gonna be happening I think during the first half or the second half of the patch and oh my god no cash. The gift that keeps on giving overworld or underworld. There is no world that is without trash. <laughs> you see a pitiful trash can made of tin with a torso clearly dented from trauma. <laughs> it seems like someone took their pent up emotions on it whilst passing by. Oh my God. They went through the ringer. They went through the fight club. RIP to the trash, dude. They're getting freaking tossed around. They're being treated like trash. You kidding me? These things are goaded. Actual best gaming lore I've ever been immersed in. I swear to God. Keeper of the underground ring. Yo, look at this kid. I'm out here doing business. Let's see. Investigate. Ooh, the fight club is recruiting boxers. Oh, damn. Sign up requirement. You only need to be an adult. Damn. Wait, can I actually go inside here? Oh, shit. It's literally... All right, guys. I don't know if you guys know the rules, but number one rule about Fight Club, you don't talk about Fight Club, and I'm already breaking rule number one, so they're going to come for me. If that happens, I want you guys to remember me as I once was. Carry on my legacy. Don't be like me. Be better. And continue to find all the trash can lore you can on my behalf because my days are officially numbered. Dude, these are the slums, bro. We are actually in Mantle. I assume this is uh, Geomarrow, the resource that they funnel back up to the top. Oh my goodness. A disheveled trash can. Game time. Guess how many trash cans they're all in. Oh my God. There's no shot, bro. You are not doing this to me right now. Guess how many trash cans there are in Bella. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many, dude. Attention, trash cans put side by side together are considered as one, but those that you can see but cannot be reached do not count. Oh my God. Ain't no way that I'm getting quizzed on trash cans right now. Is the underground a part of Bellabog or are they talking about the overworld? Because I only found two here so far. 21 sounds like a lot. I'm going to say 19. Nice answer. Honestly, it is uncertain if your answer is correct. This is the underground world these people don't even know the fucking answer this trash can is not seeing its overworld relatives <laughs> this trash can has not seen its overworld relatives in a long time you know what here comes a question with a definitive answer how many trash cans are there in this town the rule is the same i've only seen two though this is literally not fair bro they're actually trolling me right now. i'm gonna say lucky number seven I don't know. I don't want to take a shot in the dark. I don't want to be wrong. I'm going to say seven. Lucky number seven. This is the wrong answer, but it is understandable. Who would count the number of existing trash? 
I hate this. I hate this, dude. <laughs> Let's stop this game. It's too childish. I am so mad that I got that wrong. I haven't even had a chance to explore. You're like setting me up for a drive. But look at this place is massive. So there's less than seven then. There must be like five or six. I have no idea. Bro, I'm gonna find all the freaking trash cans. I swear to God. I'm pretty sure the trash king has not found the underworld trash cans, which means that I'm automatically better than him already. Look at this. Another trash can. This is number three. The trash can glanced coldly at the other trash can, gasping for air at its feet. I told you, Tatalov, it said. I told you that you will one day collapse before me. <laughs> when that time comes, I will laugh in your dying face. Such is the wind of change. Oh my God. These two are savage. The goo of darkness dripped out of the dying trash can's form and continued to snake its way forward. It looked up at the cold eyes of the other trash can. 15 years had passed since it had last seen that gaze when the standing trash can was still tiny. Bro, this is literally the freaking anime betrayal. Top 10 anime betrayals, dude. It's me, the dying trash can bade. I was the one who raised you. A wave of sharp pain enveloped it. At that moment, it realized a certain trash can had burst. The shooting pain coaxed a whimper out of the dying trash can while the other snickered satisfactorily. It crouched down and whispered in the ear of the dying trash can. <laughs> you the trash can's eyes were wide open but no you can't be its final words curled inside its mouth like a teardrop hanging from the corner of its eye oh <laughs> did this trash can just kill its like parent it's like wait no that's impossible it can't be <laughs> trash can homicide we actually witnessed it okay so this counts as number three bro trash can lore is getting pretty dark <laughs> It was all fun and games in the overworld. The underworld does not play around, bro. The underworld lore takes no prisoners. I swear to God. I was not expecting trash cans down here either, but there's always going to be trash. People can talk shit about trash all they want, but guess what? You're always going to need a trash can at the end of the day. You're always going to need something. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. You're always going to need a trash can by your side because one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is a trash can. <laughs> Its lid seems to have been cut open with some kind of implement. Open it. You open the lid and the waft of burnt wood mixed with cold steel invades your olfactory senses. Looking into the depths of the trash can, you can see flickers of embers still hanging on, struggling to extend their own lifespan. Ooh! Whoa, I just got an item. Pause. That might be a, just a random material. Yeah, strange matter of destruction. Oh, God. Creatures that receive blessings from Nanook all have twisted appearances. This was in the trash can? Strange matter that seems to possess the power of destruction. <laughs> Resembling fire, but not quite. It is neither cold nor hot and will damage anything it comes in contact with for over 12 seconds. Could be the antimatter legion's version of trash. There is no way. There is no way they're connecting. The trash can lore just got incredibly complex. <laughs> This is insane. This is so humorous. I love this so much. They just connected trash lore with the freaking path of destruction. Jesus, that is wild. Tell me about the competitive eater championship. Oh, I see. That's what you're here for. Let me lay it out for you. The rules are simple. See these plates of already fried rock crabs? As soon as the clock starts, you need to do everything you can to stuff all the crab meat in your mouth. If you get five plates knocked out in 20 seconds, then everything in the stall is free for you to enjoy. Yo, let's fucking go. I'm allergic to shellfish, by the way. <laughs> so this game is going to end right here, right now, boys. The path of destruction has finally come for me. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking at you. I can tell you've got confidence to spare. Remember to get a bottle of water. You don't want to choke up huge chunks of crap. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure the crab's going to take me by then. All right, sit in front of the stall. The challenge will start whenever you want. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on this. We have another brave soul who has come to take on the challenge of the title of Boulder Town's competitive eating champion. Do you have what it takes? Their expression.
Russian at least looks confident. You must be joking. <laughs> She's skinny as a beam pole. Courageous challenger you are. What is your name? Call me the stinging crab. No, thank you. Murder of birds. Murder of birds. Remember this name. In this moment, she could very well be the Boulder Town's competitive eater champion worthy of our admiration. Are you ready? I will count down from three. Don't forget, the challenge is only considered complete if you eat five plates in 20 seconds. What is this, a button mashing competition or three, two, one, go. Take a bite. Oh, you're blown away. Take a second bite. You know what? Stop talking to me. Fourth bite. I'm just going to button mash the final bite. <laughs> I did it, guys. <laughs> Your mind went completely blank as anaphylactic shock soon took hold of you. You idiot. You're allergic to shellfish. Why are you eating rock crabs? Your stomach is a vast sea filled with trillions of tons of crab paste. Mind blowing. This is incredible. You really can't judge a book by its cover. We shouldn't be looking at how frail this gal's body is. I reckon 90% of her body is just the stomach. The stall owner's praises reaches your ears, but you don't have the mental space to take it in. All you can think about is one thing. Oh my God. Is she going to puke? Uh oh. We've got a good show coming up. Oh no. That's literally me right there, guys. If I were to eat shellfish, I would immediately puke it up. My body would literally reject it. It's happened so many times. That's actually canon. I'm actually the trailblazer, guys. Going to be all right, sister? I won. That's right, friend. The victory is glorious. From this moment forward, all of this stall snacks are free. Yo, let's go. We take those. Your name will be added to the Competitive Eater Championship Hall of Fame. This is a huge honor. What can't the trailblazer do? I am the trash master in the overworld, and I am the competitive eating champion in the underworld. I can't be stopped, bro. I came. I saw I threw up. <laughs> Let's chit chat with the gang now. I think we're good. So you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell big sister March all the ins and outs. Oh my gosh. She's the big sister of the gang now. Yep. All the ins and outs. Ah! What does that mean? Oh my God. My E6 character. E6 S5. I have her E6 with a max superimposed four star light cone, like her signature light cone. This is my most invested character, courtesy of the gotcha. <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. Let me think about this. <laughs> Hook is in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. I feel like that in of itself is a lie, but you're cute as a button, so I'll let it slide. Yeah, never. Okay, Julian, relax there, Chief. I feel like they're all in it together. Yeah. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Damn, these kids really pulled the fast one over March 7th, dude. You, uh, when did you get here? Not that long, big sister. Uh, quit acting like a child. Uh, I Really? The pot's literally calling the kettle black right now. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sambo had taken Don Hung with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. Damn, these kids are trying to swindle you, I think. But they said I had to join the moles or something <laughs> if I wanted to find out. You gotta join their gang. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Oh, man. You get it? Yeah, I'm about to become a hide-and-seek champion now. I get it. Need a teammate? When did you start being so nice? I've always been nice what are you on about hey are you done with your secret talk the most time is precious the moles yeah precious julian do you say anything other than what hook immediately says you're like the paimon of this game okay okay we're done pitch dark hook the great this is my <laughs> friend she also wants to join the moles can she play too pitch dark hook the great i love that sure <laughs> so then you guys are seeking these kids are like the goonies <laughs> <laughs> Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Uh oh. Okay, let's do a practice one. <laughs> I'll hide. You two have to find me. All right. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just uh, you wait and see. March 7th is going to realize she has the intelligence of like an eight year old. All right, let's it's get simple. it. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Oh, I have to find. Okay, you know what? Hook. Meet Hook. Damn, really? You couldn't hide in an actual trash can? You're actually small enough. Ha! Gotcha! Damn. Well, that was easy. <laughs> so what? It's just a practice. Oh. Until we're playing for real. You'll see. In before Hook hides in the exact same <laughs> spot. <Bring it> on. <laughs> right? You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheat. I swear to God if she's in the exact same spot. <laughs> 47, 48, 
49, 50. Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. Okay. The moles haven't lost a game for ages. <laughs> okay, so now Got we're... It yet? We're the underground greatest hiders in here. All right, well, if you keep talking, I'm just going to find you. Hook. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Oh. Come back, come back. They won't be hiding that far Okay, away. sorry, sorry. I didn't see the AOE area. That's a little unfair, though. Like... Hook, I would argue that this was a worse hiding spot. At least in the other hiding spot, I had to travel farther to find you. I don't know, man. You let your team down. Don't run. I got you, Hook. Yeah, you got nowhere to run, kid. Put your hands up. Not fair. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? You're literally like five years old. Do your worst. I'm not afraid. <laughs> What are they feeding you kids down here? Oh, man. And Hook's rank six on the raiding pistol, by the way. Okay, we got to find the other two. Bro, if I found the boss, I should have automat... All right, you kids. I don't know about this. Oh, damn it. And you're a sidekick? Unlucky, bro. Haha, -ha, I caught you. Congratulations, March. You caught a child in hide and seek. Congratulations. <laughs> it doesn't count unless you can answer this question. Okay. But we caught you. What's with the Q&A? Damn. I thought I had you there. Damn. March 7th, smarter than the average bear confirmed. All right, where's this? Th Julian, I'm sorry, dude. Your teammates fumbled the bag. Hmm. Oh. Something's not right. Wait, is Julian? He's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. What the hell? Who the hell is this random dude? I'm playing hide and seek. Give me a second. Wait, is Julian up there? Can I get up there? Hold on. No, I can't. <laughs> Julian? <laughs> is this Julian somehow? I don't see any kids around here. Did this man pull a freaking kage bushino like aging jutsu <laughs> wait how the hell did he do that my instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy but also that's kind of rude for you to say that if that was an actual regular person he looks taller and older it's him no doubt <laughs> nonsense <clears throat> how many eight-year-olds <laughs> do you see walking around that look like this oh my god you know what it is it's all three of them in a jumpsuit <laughs> Those are Hook's feet, the girl's in the middle, and then Julian's head's poking out with the glasses. All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. How is this possible? <laughs> Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> what? Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? Is this kid a Tanuki? What the hell is going on? He's like a Bakke Tanuki. No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. That wasn't magic. That was like witchcraft. No, we're not going to ask any questions. I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Uh, explain? Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? <laughs> what villainy is this? I have no idea. <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. March 7th, do you have like some x-ray vision that we don't know about with my help? Yeah, yeah. You're in the footnote somewhere. <laughs> Jesus. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Yes. Nah. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Let's go, Hook. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. Oh, I was just there. The fight club? Yeah, that... Uh, the, oh, my God. They have the reference in the game. <laughs> I love how self-aware this game is. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of meta jokes. I know some people feel like it takes away from the experience and the immersion and all that. Like, the story is giving me the main stuff. Like, I love all of this, like, meta and all of these, like, references. This shit is so fun. I thought the first rule was... You don't talk about it. All right, March 7th, you're marked for death. Your days are officially numbered. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? <laughs> <laughs> I can show you the way. <laughs> but it's an obvious bill. It's too good, man. It's oh, references on top of memes. Come with Hook. I'll take you over. Oh, man. Thanks, oh great one. Why are we letting like the 10 year old take us to the fight club for adults? That's pitch dark hook the great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? <laughs> yeah, it's like a tribe called quest. You say the whole thing. Pitch dark hook the great. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal- Oh hobbies? my gosh, she is so adorable. Uh -huh. In fact, it's awesome. Uh they let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Sheesh. Loads of kids take part. 
<gasps> oh, despicable. My criminal activity senses are tingling. Wait a minute. Does Julian have the ability to like fucking shapeshift into an adult so they can get into the fight club? We gotta shut this place down. They don't even know it. We're here. Hold on, plot twist. It's only kids that go here, and they're all shape-shifting. I think that actually makes it worse. If it's just a fight club for children. Oh, no, this is illegal. Uh, Hook's gonna go fight. See you later. Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? Yeah, I know, right? Damn, Sampo came here. Sampo's like, yo, you know what? These brainless idiots, this is a really good showing. The moles are in charge. That's who? Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. Oh my god. Does anyone not see a problem with there potentially being an underground fighting ring of children? The moles control everything underground. I guess that makes sense. They need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Hook, no! You're too precious! Bro, they're like, hey, there's the adult division, and then underground is the children's <laughs> It makes so much sense now why this kid is the freaking gatekeeper of the underground ring. It's like, this is where the parents go. And then you come over here to this sketchy gate. And like in that room over there is where the kids are just like getting slammed on tables and getting freaking people's elbowed and whatnot. Oh my God. Actually, you know what this is? This is the salty spittoon. This is Weenie Hut Jr.'s. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. All right, so these are all adults, right? Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? I love how this guy's Mr. Dig. Like, everything is just about the earth. On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome. Yo, what the hell? The unsmiling, pulverizing power <laughs> of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young. This is what happens when you leave Don Hung alone with himself. He needs us. Otherwise, he gets caught up in these shenanigans. And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling. What the heck? Incendiary, explosive. Wait. Of Team Robomatic. All praise to Boss Farag. This is Clara's robot. Oh, shit. This actually might be a goaded match. This actually might be Pog. Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Holy Team shit. Robomatic. Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say. <laughs> whatever. He's like, yeah, eh, whatever. And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin. I have to have my money on Don Hung because he's a part of the Astral Express. Quick, let's help him. No, that's not how this works. This is a sanctioned match. Oh, oh. brothers and sisters. An unexpected turn of events. Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young. Uh, that's illegal. So you're awake. I actually don't think this is sanctioned at all. So this is all pretty illegal. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure Don Hung can handle himself. Also, Sampo just set this man up for a fight. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. <laughs> the magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. Oh dear. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. What do you mean, kids? There shouldn't be kids here. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that- I'm about to close this place down. Ahead. He's just- itching to get into it and so are we it's the iron fists of cold dragon young and friends versus the iron skin of team robomatic bro where's the fire marshal we need to put a close to this i can take them on my own you know oh we need to work on your emotional intelligence Damn. Hold the line, men! Destroy them all! Hold the line! Oh my god, we're actually fighting. What is happening? Oh, the music? All right, this is my first time using Sampo. So I'm going to just see how he works. Okay. Bop. Time to twirl. Yo, the follow-up, Pog. Bop. Savor the vigor of Oh, chain explosion. They blow up each other? All right, get him, Hook. Hell yeah. 
Boom. There you go. Okay. All right, I want to see what Sampo's Sampo skill. Koski always takes care of his friends. Yeah, and by takes care of his friends, I mean set him up for a fight. Try this on for size. Ooh. I didn't see what his debuffs are. His attacks themselves are pretty cool. Beautiful performance. Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious. Don Hung didn't need us for that literally at all. They were all weak against Win. This man was in the clear. Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? <laughs> cool Dragon Younger and Cold Dragon Youngest. <laughs> <sighs> Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. That's a Paimon moment right there, guys. She didn't like my nickname. Sheesh. Hey, look, it's Sampo. Oh, look at this man. Where is he going? Uh-oh. We've got an explanation to demand. Let's get after him. Yo, this man's being a little sketchy. Sfrog, I think is the name of it, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of Clara's robot. Unless that was just like random mobs. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Capture and interrogate Sampo. Oh, you know what? Say less, bro. Sampo, show yourself, goddammit. Hey, hey, it's you. I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Mm -hmm. Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. I wouldn't be surprised if he forced Don Hung in that fight and then bet against Don Hung and expected him to lose so he can make money off the fight. Save it. You saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. And then he was like, oh no, 3v1, I gotta get out of here. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends. What do I have to fear? <laughs> mm -hmm. Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Actually, all of the above. You threw us at the Silvermane guards and you set up Don Hung. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourselves? Mm. He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Th that's still your fault. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. Damn, dude. You know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. <laughs> sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. We are wanted criminals. Well, by association of you. Be that as it may. Did you really have to poison us? He had to make it look convincing, I guess. Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Also, I thought that was like sleeping gas, not poison. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet, but there's more to our friend here. Ooh, than the yeah, of course. I could have told you that. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. Hmm. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. Free of charge? Yo, this man's not even going to charge us? Okay. To prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. All right. Why would Wildfire want to help us? Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll mm. just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I assume we're going to try to connect it to the Stellaron. Like, hey, we need to help stop this Stellaron so that way you guys can be reconnected with the surface again or something like that. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, <laughs> the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade. Oh, wow. You think people here are just resigned to their fate? So this happened in the last 10 years. Yeah, it said younger Cacolia, so that makes sense. Why should we get to know Wildfire? Because you're looking for something. Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a Stellaron. Stellaron, yep. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Oh, that's why he had him fight. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and <laughs> won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Oh, dear. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. That's kind of cool that they're introducing the Fight Club now and they're talking in a fight club event in a couple weeks, I think, too. What kind of organization is Wildfire? Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. 
Yes. Uh, but who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silvermane guards withdrew, Wildfire set up shop. Hmm, okay, makes sense. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. I wonder if there's any playable characters amongst them. All right, lead the way and don't try to pull anything this time. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't trust that laugh anywhere. What does Wildfire do all day? Uh, everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. <laughs> Redistribute the wealth. The sliver of trust <laughs> they have for me has to do with the last one. Ah, interesting. Look for traces of wildfire. Long wait for the blade's edge. Where's Joshua? Joshua. Oh my God. That's not a, like a little kid. His child informant. What are those shiny rocks? That is Geomero. You don't read the freaking flavor text March 7th? Ah, this is Geomero. An exothermic ore? Yep. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Yeah. Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. How convenient. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. Mm. At least in theory. Damn, that sucks. That means if you don't do your job and send them Geomero, that you guys basically will starve. And that's so messed up, man. That creates, as he said earlier, a supply and demand. Most undergrounders are miners and this is what they mine for a living jesus you know, if we didn't have geo marrow to burn this world would have frozen to death long ago if you've never seen ruby first off watch it it's a great show i cover it on my main youtube channel there's nine volumes of it it's great thank me later if you guys decide to check it awesome fights awesome action music the works volume seven and eight of ruby is literally this world i swear to god all right let's keep moving <laughs> Another trash. Wait, is this another trash can or did I? Okay, I already interacted with this one. Damn, dude. I'm literally hopped up on these trash cans all of a sudden. I'm like, wait a minute. It's a trash can, even if it's one I've already seen before. Old Oleg isn't here either. Oleg. Where is everyone? Mm. You better not be setting us up, sir. <sighs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. This better not be a setup. <gasps> What's that huge structure in the distance? The furnace? Oh my God, it literally looks like the freaking Mikage furnace. Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Oh man, I called it, boys. Then what? It's a long story. In any case... Practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Is that the cutoff point? Is that where they cut off the surface from the underworld? Except you. Mm, yeah, you move freely. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. <laughs> I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Well, it's not a rumor if it's true, right? I guess a rumor could be something that's spread around if it's unconfirmed. But if we know it's confirmed, then it's not a rumor. All right, let's head over here. A lot of kids over here. I'm no Oh, I was so traumatized by these two freaking uh, trash cans, like this trash can killing his freaking father, that I completely disregarded the treasure chests that were right... Hold up. Uh, ma'am? Are these yours? Treasure chest magician. Hello. Ah, are you here to try your luck too? Luck? What are you talking about? Do I need to repeat myself? Are you here to try out your luck too? Do you see the two chests over here? One chest contains good luck. Oh no. Oh my God. Guys, I'm getting another Gepard on the banner. It's confirmed if I lose this. While the other contains bad luck. Open one of the chests to see how lucky you are today. Bro, they literally took the three chests from the freaking mini game in Inazuma. Actually, this is like a combination of that because that has chests and the, like the Grand Narukami Shrine fortune telling slips. What's inside the chest with good luck? No, you don't understand. The unknown is what gambles. Oh my God. Literally Gamba. Gamba advice in a gacha game. The unknown is what makes gambles so alluring. All of the weight lies in the decision-making process. <laughs> good luck or bad luck is all a matter of personal experience no one has the right to interfere make your choice oh shit see 
here's the thing chat i feel like it's gonna be like reverse 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 psychology because my instinct is i want the bigger chest because bigger shinier means better but that could be a debate and it's like yeah we want to allure you with the visually more appealing one when in truth it's actually this lesser one but then they could think that i think that and they're gonna reverse they're gonna uno reverse my uno reverse and then i'm just gonna be left looking stupid i don't know which one i want this is literally the 50 50 and guess what i lost all my 50 50 I, well i won my zila 50 50 technically i didn't get bailu i had to go all the way to 300 pulls to guarantee my bronia it ain't looking good for your boy I can't trust myself enough to decide the good luck for me. So it's all coming down to money. Money makes the world go round. Money makes the gamba strong. Heads, left, tails, right. Here we go. Heads, we're going left. I prage. A putrid smell rushes towards your face. It is not the smell of wood or rust or food that has gone bad. It's the stench of the uncomparable hostility. Focus, murder of birds. All right, so I lost the 50-50, didn't I? You stupid coin! Shut up, Sampo, I'm angry. I am so mad. Even money couldn't save me. What do we learn, ladies and gentlemen? Do not gamble. Be free to play. Don't be like me. The hostile presence and stench dissipates. An empty chest lays in front of you. If the ferocious fragmentum monsters that suddenly jumped out of the chest doesn't qualify as bad luck, then your values would be overturned. Oh my God, I gotta come back tomorrow. Ma'am. This is a scam. Wondrous. Very wondrous. You've conquered the bad luck inevitable in life. You are a true fighter. Remember, never forget the importance of your decisions. Any decisions. Aren't you worried about causing casualties? The lady gives you a sly look, but her expression quickly returns to normal. I already told you. Good luck or bad luck is all a matter of personal experience. People who often cross paths with fate have their own standards for the two. Watching you make decisions is fascinating. The process is worth saving. Oh, the chest that contains good luck now belongs to you. Yo, we persevered? Maybe? You are a truly defiant soul. You have earned this reward until we meet again. You blink and she's gone. The mysterious woman has disappeared before your very eyes, vanishing without a trace. This really was an unusual encounter. The chest is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. There it is, a container that could still hold good luck. Open it up. The lady said that it was the reward for daring to defy fate. Was the 50-50, the perseverance we had in our hearts all along? Was the 50-50 the truth, the trust we had in trash? You open the small chest. A smell of rotten wood perseveres your nostrils. Inside the chest is completely black, but in the corner of the chest lining, you see a flash of light that particularly catches your eye. Your hands tremble as you reach into the pitch black darkness. You take hold of a single, no, a pile of rigid shining objects. You bring your hands to your eyes and closely examine the multicolored crystals in your palm. Yo, we have Genesis crystals in Honkai Star Rail confirmed. This small treasure represents enough good luck for one person. Congratulations, murder of birds. Dazzling rainbowite. Only the extremely lucky can get their hands on this crystal. It doesn't quite look to have any practical value, but it can be sold for a very high price. Oh, <laughs> you know what that means, gamers? I am radiating with luck. Surely this can only mean good things for me. Surely this can only mean good things, please. <laughs> We're not getting a five star, obviously. Come on, big money, big money. Asta, you know what? That's a dub. That's an Eidolon. We take those. Luck seems to be on my side. Nice, Sue. Good shit. Oh, man, that was really entertaining. This place is something else, man. The trash lore, the freaking fight club for adults and children. Zila is usually always out on patrol here at this time. Oh. What's Wildfire up to? Are they avoiding me? <gasps> Bronya! She's rounding them all up, I think. Hey, look! Who is that? Damn, Bronia is about to get clapped. Is that Bronia? It looks like she's in trouble. Isn't that interesting? The shoe is now on the other foot. My friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Uh-huh. Oh, you know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <laughs> Bronia, he did it. <laughs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. Don Hang's right. We can't ignore this. <laughs> March 7th is right. Does anyone have popcorn? 
story. I love these responses, but I'm a good noodle. I'm gonna agree with Don Hang. I'm gonna be a fucking boy scout. Exactly. My boy, Cold Dragon Young. Uh, young Master Dan Hung speaks with reason. Look at him. He's buttering him up. Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasant. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Woo! You dare attack someone on our turf? Oh! How about a few rounds with me? Oh my god, that was so hard! Right, quick, disperse! Her girlfriend showed up. She's like, I'll protect you in any universe, Bronya. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy, dude. The parallels are insane. Bronya and Zila better be together in Genshin Impact. That's all I'm saying. Spineless thugs. Oh my god, so she's of the underworld too. Miss Zila, it's a good thing you showed up when you did. Wow. My heartfelt thanks. Sheesh. Yo, they would flex with the freaking limited five star. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Another thing too that I realized today, Zila is the current limited rate character on the banner for Honkai Star Rail. And right now, the latest patch for Honkai Impact 3rd is an event that's going on called Handling from Nagazora, which features Zila as well. So I think the synergy is kind of crazy how Zila is like the main attraction in both Honkai games. Shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. <laughs> I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the underworld a visit. <gasps> is that you? Sampo Koski and Zila have like a very similar color scheme going on. You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Oh, dear. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the underworlders? Oh, damn. Take that up with my mom, the Matushka. The Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. Yeah, but y'all cut them off. Do you even hear yourself? You? Protect the underground? Mm. Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects? Uh. More like it. Yo, this is giving me kind of Enka Nomiya vibes. Enka got sealed off from the surface too. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. The cancer of the world is talking to her. They're besties now. Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you. Ooh. And he's got more than a few questions. Chief Oleg. <laughs> Sampo's just like smirking in the background. He's loving this. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Hmm. <laughs> Fully booked. Who are they? I'm Murder of Birds. What good is your name by itself? I knew it. I was like, why am I telling her just my name? That tells her nothing. Well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so... I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. Yep. If we find it, we can... Save this planet. <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway. So let's save it for the chief, hmm? Huh? All right, if you say so. You're right. I don't understand it. Uh, and I don't plan on passing the message on either. Jeez. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. Oh, damn. We're about to get into it. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Nice to see you again. They did Zila so fucking much justice with her new design. God, she looks great. Oh, shoot. Yo, daily challenges. Let's go. Ones fall into the abyss. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm getting all these pings. Herda, what's going on? Upgrade is done. Come test. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> ah, simulated universe. Second closed beta. Wait a minute. Crack up conch. That's the curio. It's not scary to know that there are people better than you. What's scary is that they even work harder than you. Youngster, how can you even sleep at night knowing that other people are doing so much better than you? The world is no magical conch shell, nor does it rain credits. You are not the chosen one. So if you want something, work hard hard for it. All right. Well, you don't have to tell me what I tell myself every day I wake up. Okay. I'm not good enough. All right. I already know this. I need 
escapism. I don't need this game reminding me. I'm offended. You think you're funny? What the heck? <laughs> this is a kind reminder from the security center. Please stay alert to anonymous messages sent from unknown sources and exercise extreme caution when reading any such information as it may be fraudulent. If you need help, don't hesitate to... Damn, they're basically saying that it's spam. I'm gonna be a little troll. Please don't reply. Oh, I definitely am. <laughs> sensible being wait a mission the curio crack up conch is infected infected with a mimetic virus oh god yeah that's definitely what we need curios being hacked are you serious lay are you all right why don't you text me back <laughs> new phone who dis <laughs> who's lay oh sorry but whoever is reading this please tell lay when you meet her that rocky will be waiting for her at the space station so who's lay nani Oh my God, I have to go to this freaking man. I should have said wrong number. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so this is my dailies, I think. Survivor index. Ooh, hold up. Okay, so this is my experience book. These are my dailies. Complete one daily mission, level up any character one time. In a single battle, inflict weakness break of different types. Clear golden, oh, okay. I have to accumulate 500 points for the rewards here. Wow, I get a thousand uh, trailblaze experience. That's a lot. That's actually really good. Holy shit. These are really good rewards. Assignments. Wait, what is this? What the hell is happening, bro? This is so much. I think these are expeditions. Complete assignments to get corresponding rewards. Oh my God. Wait, you can go for credits, experience, or materials. God, this is so much better than Genshin. Even if it's not a whole crazy amount, this is just more resources consolidated. I really, really like that. Is Nameless Honor the battle pass? I assume that's the battle pass. Does it have a cutscene? Hold on. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh my God, Himiko in March 7th. Who is that? Okay, so these are the battle pass weapons. Oh, that's another new character in the back, the pink haired character. All right, unlock Nameless Glory and raise its level to 30 to receive a light cone of your choosing. Okay, so there's seven light cones, whereas Genshin, they I think they had five weapons to choose from. Yeah, and they're all over here. So I assume each one of these is for a different path. Yeah, some of these materials, I don't know what they do right now. Gift for the Path Strider. Select one material of your choice. Oh, oh, okay. So these are probably like the talents. They let you choose which thing you want. Advanced level up materials for traces. This is really cool. I think this is a material that lets you choose the main stat of an artifact, which is huge for late game potential. So I'm going to definitely save those for sure. If you get enough of this material, you can craft a specific piece of an so if you combine these two you can craft like a specific set of boots and then you can use this to give those boots a specific main stat artifact which is wild so you can eventually curate your own artifact set if you don't end up getting good rolls on a specific one over time log into the game use 150 trailblaze power complete simulated universe i did 20 calyxes already which is wild use 300k credits i'm at level three now warp 40 times i'm at level four now not bad not bad obviously i have to work on these over time yeah some of these other things i don't have access to yet but i'm definitely gonna try to get through all of this other stuff by the end of the day for sure oh my god another thing synthesizing you can remote control the omni synthesizer via your phone to rapidly synthesize oh so is this like the crafting bench like i have it on hand oh my god dude they literally did everything right in this game it's fucking wild how well they've done everything yeah so i can synthesize food yeah, I can synthesize materials as well. Wow. They really were just like uh, Genshin, but better. Wow. That's a lot to take in. I think I am going to call it here. I think this is a relatively good spot to stop, gather my bearings, and just kind of pick up in the next session. I was mainly focusing on wanting to get the battle pass and get the dailies. So now I can start using trailblaze power. I can start doing my dailies and start getting those rewards even on days that I don't stream. I feel like I can just make general progress even if I'm not continuing the main storyline. It was a great session. The story is being progressed really interestingly. We're gonna be learning about the underworld and how the Stellaron is affecting these guys from what Kokolia and company are dealing with and decisions that they're making because of the Stellaron. That seems to be kind 
kind of influencing Kakolia's decision making because it is like again a cancer of the world and it seems to be affecting things differently like it's not just destruction it seems manipulative in its overall nature to essentially destroy everything at the very end yeah this has been great I'm going to try my best I'm going to try to stay away from the checkpoint there just so progress can continue when I get back I'm going to try to talk to all the characters at the beginning of the next session as well but I hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough I hope you guys enjoy the content really excited I'm going to try to get a lot of progress done off stream between now and tomorrow I will be streaming again tomorrow I hope you guys look forward to it so thank you guys all so much and uh I'll see you guys in the next one